Hello all, in this video what we are going to do is we are going to print the first n prime numbers, okay. Uh, for that I am supposed to read uh, the n integer from the user. So before writing this program how to start a C program and the importance of main functions and print of scanf, I made a separate video on this. So I am going to leave that video link in the description. You can go ahead and check it out before start writing this program. First I am going to ask the user to enter n so that uh, we can print uh, prime number still that number times so or, or, or for suppose if user gives 20 we are going to print first 20 prime numbers okay so i'm going to give enter n and then scan up read into ampersand n so compiler doesn't know what is n so i'm going to give what is n declare n and i'm gonna include std io dot head of n. otherwise it doesn't know what is print of n scanf now how to find a given number is prime number or not i made a separate video i'm gonna leave that video link also in the description for so quickly what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring up that piece of code on the screen okay this is the code wherein i explained in detail how we can actually find out whether a given number is prime or not so for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simply copy paste the same into our code and then we're gonna tweak our program in such a way that it's gonna print the first n prime numbers okay what did it do is i simply uh, copy pasted the code whatever is being shown on the screen so what we're going to do right now is currently or quickly we're going to run this and uh, before tweaking the program uh, to print the first 10 prime numbers okay so i'm going to open my terminal and quickly i'm going to compile my program and i will name it as prime number um no errors good so all i have to do is prime number enter n i'm gonna give five yes it's a prime number and i'm gonna give eight standard prime number so our prime number program is working fine okay we know the logic that this piece of code will actually let us know uh whether a given number is prime or not so particularly here we are calculating for n so we need to write a logic in such a way uh, we, we should pass this number every time from 1 to we don't know it has to go on and on till we find the first n prime numbers for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this entire piece of code okay in another for loop so i'm gonna take another for loop and here i'll instead of i i'll take another new variable called number and number less than or equal to number so technically speaking this will become always true because one is less than or equal to one true and number plus plus so obviously it will become two two less than or equal to so technically this is true for uh, every time okay so this loop will run forever and ever so i'm going to declare number variable now I'm going to write this entire code, put this entire code in that for loop. Okay. Also, what we are supposed to do is we don't need this else part because we are supposed to print only the prime number. So we are not even supposed to print. It's a prime number. We have to print the number, right? So the number, I'm going to give it as number. So here we need to do certain tweaks because n is different from our number. So if you look at this piece of code number one uh, this loop will run forever and ever and it starts from one and goes for like goes on and on so every time it comes one two three and uh, this loop will execute and find out whether these factors are equal to two then we'll print that number as prime so here every time the loop starts it's better we make it factors equal to zero otherwise factors will keep on growing and the output would be wrong and we need to change this as well this should be number now also uh, we need a mechanism or logic to know when we reached our n prime numbers right so i'll give prime numbers count i'll take a variable and make it to zero and every time i find a prime number what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply do prime number plus plus so prime number count will be increased and here itself what I can do is um, we are anyways in the outer loop so here only the moment if my prime number count is equal to n n is nothing but the first n numbers 
the first n numbers we are supposed to n prime numbers we are supposed to print so the moment my prime numbers count is equal to n what i'm supposed to do is simply i'll do the break so break what happens is it will come out from the uh, loop itself so this break statement is inside this main for loop okay the outer for loop so it will come out here and it will reach line number 32 just just i'll just give new line my code looks good and let's let's uh, understand the logic or we'll try to do the explanation here or debug our uh, code before actually running this code so here we can see our number is equal to one so first my number will be one and then i is running till number times and number percentage this logic is basically for prime number so it'll it'll check whether one is prime or not check whether one one is prime or not so basically uh, it will it will ignore or one is less than equal to one one percentile one is like neither prime nor composite okay still there is a lot of mathematical debates happening whether one is prime or not let's not get into that so directly we'll move to number two and again it will check whether two is prime or not obviously it's prime so hence it will come here factors will be two for it it will print that two and also it will increment the prime number count now the prime number count of mine is one so directly what i'm going to do is my count is one <clears throat> prime numbers count one to one and next similarly now my number will become three okay three and whether three is prime or not yes it is three is prime so obviously it will have two factors and it's going to be two so similarly now my number is four let's say i gave n equal to five okay so it's going to print the first uh, five prime numbers so okay. it's going to be four check whether four is prime or not yes four is not prime so again my prime count will be two only it won't be incremented now uh, my number would be five and five is a prime number because it will have only two factors so it will come as five and my count will increment to three so instead of five uh, let's take four okay because we are debugging right so i don't want to spend much time so you can take a piece of paper and start uh, doing the same thing so it's six now and check whether six is prime or not it's not a prime is is not a prime okay six is not a prime so the count would be three it won't be incremented and uh, next comes seven and seven is a prime number we know that so it will have only two factors and my count will become four so then what happens my count will become four here line number 25 will become four and it will check whether my prime number count numbers count four is equal to n n is four yes true it will break and come out so ultimately my output will be here whatever two three four is not a prime so obviously my output will be two three five seven so my logic looks pretty good we'll execute and check it okay i open my terminal compile it run it i'll give it as 10 perfect first 10 prime numbers printed 2 3 5 7 and that is 19 so 5 6 7 eight, and it's perfect so enter n again the output is not looking nice i always wanted the output to be clean and neat so again i'll compile it and run it this time i'll only give four it's working fine i'll give five working fine i can give like 40 first 40 prime numbers i printed okay like you can give like first 50 prime numbers so it will go on and on in a log so our printing first n prime numbers program is working fine uh, thank you all for watching this video if you like the video please go ahead and like the video share and subscribe for more similar tech content